the elusive desert rabbit. Bye-bye. We say goodbye to Joshua Tree National Park and leave the desert behind. Our new heading is a place much more reminiscent of Vancouver Island. Sequoia National Park and it's what is it 84 degrees 84 Fahrenheit 40 yeah. Fahrenheit it's pretty toasty and this would be fun on a motorcycle It's a two-directional street, believe it or not. I don't know what you do when you come up on somebody in somewhere like this. You let them crash and fall and <laughs> die. Going for a hike called Morrow Rock, and that's it, right up there. It's like we're back in BC. Big tree in there. It's must be sequoias. This is Charles. Coming from BC, this scene looks fantastic. Oh, I need to zoom out because this tree's too wide. So this is Hanging Rock. Don't tip it over. What a view. How close to the edge would you go? <laughs> That's where we're going. You can see the little people up there. Hopefully on focus. Right there. So I'm not, I wouldn't call myself afraid of heights, but uh, even me who's like jumped out of airplanes and stuff, jumped out of helicopters, in the water. What, this? That's nothing. No, not yet. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. It just goes kind of, you know, down there. It has potential to make the weak. It feels like walking around a castle. Oh. The 
so watch your head. Yeah, the wall's kind of short, isn't it? Yeah, short wall. <laughs> Knees shaking yet? No, not quite yet. Not yet. I still got a wall on one side. down might look sketchier than the way up. So this is Tunnel Log. drive through it. So in 1937. And we're driving a uh, Toyota Tacoma through here. Good way to end the day. Beer in one hand. Homemade chili with cheese. A glass of gin over here in honor of the uh, junipers. Yeah, I told the junipers in Joshua Tree that I'd have a gin in their honor. So this is to you. There junipers you go. in Joshua Tree National Park. Excellent. And we've got the lovely river behind us. It wasn't for these mosquitoes, this place would be perfect. Just a few mosquitoes here on Alternus. So you can see me hiding from the mosquitoes as best I can. Oh, Kevin's spotting them.
Christmas's big tree trail. These giant sequoias are one of the largest trees in the world, as well as hardiest. They grow thick bark and don't have lower limbs, which allows them to survive fires and flourish afterwards. So you were telling me something about perspective. Yeah. Just to put this in perspective, I'm looking at, at this thing as a six foot tall person like me. Is it really like the same thing like I love mouse? Would you see picking up on a six foot tall human? said moon. No. We made it to Sierra National Forest, finally, after a few hiccups with the GPS and then a road closure. So now we're having beers, goldfish, and a swim. <laughs> and <laughs> he says after three days of hiking in the desert, he needed a rinse, which is fair. And I'll probably be joining very shortly. But this is Bass Lake. Pretty good spot. So this goose is like getting really bold, really, really, really close. He wants my goldfish. He wants the goldfish, but we've told him he can't have the goldfish. No. But he's kind of not really listening. First it was this mallard. Really not that interesting, Kevin. <laughs> I, I it's know. ducks and geese. Yeah. I've never been so close to a friggin' goose before. Like this a meter true. away. I've never had a goose come up where I could reach out and touch him. Yeah. They're usually way more skittish. They must be used to being fed. Mm -hmm. uh, goose, duck fight. 